Hello my lovely Capricorns. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. We are going to be doing your March bonus reading. This reading is about the next love that's coming towards you. It is a general reading, so it may not be able to resonate for all of you. And if you want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. For my lovely Capricorns, please may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. All right, Capricorn, let's take a look and see what's going on for you guys. All right, we've got the Nine of Wands as our general overall energy. It's like they feel like you keep you guys keep trying to make something work and like just have not been able to be successful it's almost like um, they feel like the more that you guys try the more it almost like pushes you apart right the more it's like the more we try to work on things the more problems we have that's kind of the energy I feel here so I do feel like this is somebody that you guys are in separation with, okay? And I feel like you've been through a lot with this person. Um, the Empress in the reverse. Yeah, they could just feel like something about this just doesn't, like it doesn't grow. It doesn't work. Um, they could also feel like you see them in a really negative light because of everything that's happened. They could feel like you guys have grown apart some. But they do have the Eight of Pentacles in their heart. You know, I feel like they do. There is a part of them that does want to work on things. It's like their head and heart are not quite on the same page. Their heart's like, you know what? I do want to focus on this. I do want to work on this. I think that this this relationship and this love is worth working on. Um, you know, and then the head steps in with, oh, well, you know, we've tried to make it work and it just isn't working. It just keeps getting worse and we keep going further apart. You know, it's that that's kind of what I'm feeling here. And the Nine of Wands, Wands I feel like they keep going, but... You know, at some point, the Nine of Wands, they get tired. You know, I think you do too. I feel like you could be in this very same energy or in a very similar energy, right? Connections like these are not easy. Their intentions here is the tower in the reverse. So it's like they, they've been trying to keep it together. They don't want to see this be the end. The challenge between the two of you is the Page of Swords. So that could be communication, that could be like tit for tat stuff or petty stuff here. It doesn't have to be that way. It could also just be, um, you know, I feel like there could be a lack of trust. So you could be looking for things, they could be looking for things. Communication in general could just be an issue. And their next action, that was a ton of swords in the reverse. So to me, I am going to pull an outcome card as well. So the Ten of Swords in the Reverse, so to me, the Ten of Swords in the Reverse does talk about something, you know, not wanting something to be over or trying not to allow something to be over, but it also kind of feels to me as like something that's been drug out, and I feel like this has been really drug out here. Um, but the potential outcome is the Two of Cups in the Reverse. There is a, you know, there is still a major disconnect here between you and this person. And, you know, the Two of Cups to me can talk about something that's just in perfect alignment or in sync with each other. It just works. Um, you know, and you guys, there's something about it where you're just not quite on the same page here. So tell me about this uh, Page of Swords energy, the Nine of Wands, both trying to figure out, do I want to keep working for this? I also feel like there is there is some trust stuff, and you know that may be rightfully so. Yeah, you could have done stuff, they could have done stuff, and I feel like both people are always kind of like looking for or having like head on a swivel type energy, uh, and it makes it very difficult here. Tell me about this uh, Ten of Swords in the Reverse. The Seven of Cups in the Reverse. So I feel like they don't want anybody else here. To me, Seven of Cups in the Reverse is like they don't want any other options. They don't want you to have any other options. So if you guys are in separation, I feel like this person is going to be back trying to make things work here with you. 
I'm so attracted to you. So especially if there's been third parties or if like you've you know if there's been like flirting with people, you know, that could have really affected your self-esteem as well, especially with this empress in the reverse here too, right? Um, you know, that can make us not feel very attractive or not feel good about ourselves. And so I feel like this person is recognizing, you know, where maybe some of their actions have caused that and they're needing to be very reassuring to you now. They want to be reassuring to you. I am so attracted to you. We have in it for the wrong reasons. Hope. And deceptions. Trust at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, there's been some, I do feel like there's been some dishonesties. Um... And that's one of the things that you guys are trying to figure out. Is this something that we should continue to work on things with? Or is there some codependency here? Is that the wrong reasons? Why are we still in this? Why are we still going through this? Why are we still doing this? Why do we keep getting drawn back? These are some questions that are maybe you're coming up here. Maybe for them or for you or for both of you here. I do feel like this is somebody that you guys have been through a lot with. So if this is not somebody that you want to hear from or have back into your life, um, you know, this is, could be coming up as a little bit of a warning reading. I do feel like they are going to be reaching back out to you here. But that is what I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, then check out your other placements. Everything that you'll need to know is in the description box below for you, whether that's about this reading, scheduling personals, Patreon, or the tarot course. All of that stuff is there for you guys in the description box. If you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and for supporting me and I will see you soon.